This is SLT4 card. It provides interface to connect four single line telephones. You can use any standard two wire analog single line telephone instrument. It can be a rotary telephone, a pulse tone switchable push button phone or a cordless phone. Seat the card in any of the free slots and secure it with the three screws provided. The SLT4 card has three RJ45 connectors. There is a separate cable provided with a RJ45 jack on one end and free twisted pair cables at the other end into which the cable is plugged into and the hardware ports on that connector. Lead the cables out of the enclosure through any of the two cable outlets with the help of the cable tie provided. This enables the cables to stay in position firmly. Lead the cables neatly and tangle free to MDF. Since the connectors of the cars will not be visible after the cover has been replaced, you are always advised to label the cables appropriately for easy identification. When you have completed installing the card and connected the cables, replace the top cover by sliding it in place. Secure the cover with the two screws you removed. This is SLT8 card. It provides interface to connect eight single line telephones. You can use any standard two wire analog single line telephone instrument. It can be a rotary telephone, pulse tone switchable push button phone or cordless phone. Seat the card in any of the free slots and secure it with the three screws provided. It has three RJ45 connectors. For each connector on the SLT8 card, there is a separate cable provided with a RJ45 jack on one end and free twisted cables at the other end. All the three cables are bunched together, but each cable is identified by a color mark at the boot edge and the insulation edge of the cable. The color markings make it easy for you to identify the connector on the card into which the cable is plugged into and the hardware ports on that connector. For example, the cable marked with blue on the boot and insulation edge is connected to the first port of the card containing the hardware ports 1, 2, 3 and 4. I would advise you to keep the Eternity Quick Start ready because at the time of installing the cards, you need to know the cable colors and pin details. Lead the cables out of the enclosure through any of the two cable outlets with the help of the cable tie provided. This enables the cables to stay in position firmly. Lead the cables neatly and tangle free to the MDF. Since the connectors of the cars will not be visible after the cover has been replaced, you are always advised to label the cables appropriately for easy identification. When you have completed installing the card and connected the cables, replace the top cover by sliding it in place. Secure the cover with the two screws you removed. 